Welcome back to Aging Wisely, Brain Health for Everyone, a five-part video series presented by Drs. Migliorini and O'Connor. Here in part two, we'll discuss what happens when the brain ages. Everyone's brain ages. It turns out normal brain aging begins as early as your 20s and 30s. As the brain gets older, it atrophies or gets smaller and some of the connections between brain cells may be lost and new connections might not be made as easily. As people reach their 40s, 50s, and beyond, they start to notice some of the consequences of normal brain aging. People tell us things like, I don't think quite as quickly. I can't remember names like I used to. I forget small things like where did I leave my keys? Where did I park my car? I have more trouble concentrating and multitasking. When they have these experiences, some people get worried and wonder if their brain aging is the same thing as dementia. Dementia is not a part of normal aging. Let's set the record straight on what dementia really means. It's not a specific disease, but rather a general term used to describe a decline in thinking that is severe enough to interfere with a person's ability to perform basic everyday activities. There are many different conditions that can produce dementia. These include things like Brain diseases that get worse over time, called neurodegenerative disorders, like Alzheimer's disease, Lewy body dementia, and frontotemporal dementia. Stroke and other vascular disorders affecting the brain's blood vessels. Nutritional deficiencies. Metabolic and endocrine disorders. And substance abuse. So how do you know whether your memory changes are just a normal part of aging or not? Everyone forgets, but there are some rules of thumb that suggest a more serious problem repeating yourself many times without realizing, getting lost going to familiar places, trouble coming up with common words when talking, so much so that it disrupts your ability to communicate, or your thinking problems get in the way of your ability to do activities you've done all your life. If you're concerned about your memory in any way, you should always talk to your doctor. Your doctor can do an in-office screen for memory problems and decide whether to refer you to a brain specialist, such as a neuropsychologist or a neurologist. Your doctor can also check to see if you have some cause of memory loss that can be treated, like vitamin B12 deficiency, thyroid dysfunction, or depression. Now that you understand a bit more about brain aging, let's talk about the ways to keep our brains as healthy as possible as we get older. Start the next video in the series, Healthy Living for a Healthy Brain, to learn more.